The time has come. High school football kicks off tonight. And there are just a handful of games and officials are limiting capacity, but that's not cutting down on the excitement. Yeah, so in Florida, sporting events are capped at 50% of a venue's capacity during the state's phased reopening plan, but some schools like Bowles have limited fans to just parents and siblings for the time being. There is no statewide mandate in Georgia, by the way, after restrictions were lifted, so attendance is left up to individual districts. News for Jack's reporter Ashley Harding is joining us live at Baker County High Memorial Stadium. The Wildcats are hosting their rival, the Bradford High School Tornadoes tonight. Ashley, the district says it's playing it safe. They absolutely are. Jen and Bruce, good morning to you both. They want you to stay safe, but of course have a good time. Now, if you make it out to the game here, you can expect to see signs just like this one we found this morning. This talks about COVID-19 prevention. There's also this one right here. These are the actual rules here. If you do come to the game, help us stay healthy. Do not enter if you're sick. Those are the symptoms. Also socially distanced and wearing your mask is recommended. Now, I actually did talk to the head coach who says his team has been practicing since mid-June and now they're finally getting a chance to actually get on that field over there. They've been waiting for this for a while. They couldn't be happier to do it. COVID-19 may have brought some uncertainty, but what's never been in question is the rivalry between Baker County and Bradford High Schools. What better way to kick off this new season? Being able to play the first game of the year with that it gives us kind of a, a playoff type atmosphere right from the get right from the get go. Head coach Kevin Mays says he'll never forget that first practice, especially at a time when there were still so many questions. But I think even the kids in the back of their mind were wondering, you know, where we get, was this going to happen? Was it not going to happen? And then when we finally had the answer, hey, guys, we get to start. Uh, you know that, like I said, they were they were thrilled. They were ready to hit the field going. With kickoff happening tonight at Baker County Memorial Stadium, the district says public health is its priority. The school district has made plenty of notices about keeping things safe at the football game. Number one, if you don't feel well, don't come to the game, and if you do, make sure to socially distance. If possible. <laughs> Mays says the resounding message from the community is one of support and pure joy. What we've heard from the community is that everyone's excited that it's back and to get something normal back in the community and to get out and have the opportunity to come out and watch the kids play. We're going to do everything we can to keep everybody safe. A time to get back in the game and make new memories as a community. And if you're not able to make it here to the stadium tonight, the game will be live streamed again for people who are not able to make it. To learn how to access that, head to our website, newsforjax.com. Live in Baker County this morning, Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station.